Hi, Chris with RC Worst here, and today we're going to be going over the AY McDonald 8200 series convertible jet pumps. These are an excellent pump for shallow or deep wells, cistern or transfer pumping, irrigation, and residential lake water systems, which is something which is very common in rural areas. The standard discharge configuration on this pump includes two discharge ports, one that is three quarter inch on the side of the pump, which you can't see in this, on this particular pump, but it's right over here. We've got also a one inch discharge port out the top of the pump. And the suction on this pump is a standard inch and a quarter female thread. The engineered thermoplastic glass fiber reinforced impeller comes standard with a stainless steel hub on three quarter and one horsepower models. Coupling that with a multi-volute engineered thermoplastic diffuser offers maximum capacity and pressure for this. Lead-free impellers are also available for more abrasion and corrosion resistance. Now this pump features a cast iron body construction which meets the federal standards of lead-free, which means that it contains less than one and a quarter of 1% lead. Cast iron has an inherent ability to resist subscale and oxidation such as rust and corrosion because of its relatively high silicon content. In addition to the natural ability to resist corrosion, a robust paint has been applied which is going to help the pump to hold up in typical weather conditions. This pump is rated to operate in ambient temperatures up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if the pump were to overheat, the automatic thermal overload protection would bring the motor offline until it had time to sufficiently cool. With that in mind, great care must be used in selecting a location for these pumps because in some areas, 104 degrees is not all that hard to come by. I recommend avoiding direct sunlight. Furthermore, with this pump, it is very important to avoid sub-freezing temperatures. If you would like any tips on winterizing a jet pump, check out the video in the description below. The 8200 series comes standard with a maximum suction lift of 25 feet using a shallow well jet. However, since they are a convertible pump, a separate deep well ejector kit can be purchased separately, which would increase the suction lift of the pump up to about 120 feet. This is accomplished by moving the ejector that is in the pump farther away from the pump down towards the foot valve in the well. Now, if you're curious on the differences between a shallow or a deep well jet pump, check out our video in the description below. Deep well ejectors will need to be correctly matched with the pump models. It's especially important when using a deep well jet pump that your ejectors have been matched to the specific model that you intend to use. Their shape, size, and design is all critical factors in getting the proper performance. If you ever need any assistance in selecting a jet pump or any accessories relating to a jet pump, give us a call, we're happy to help. These pumps come in either a high capacity or a high pressure configuration. The difference between these models is found in the Venturi. And what I mean by it being found in the Venturi is that at higher pressures, more of the fluid is sacrificed to feed the Venturi so you're going to be able to choose from essentially two configurations that one is more focused on flow and one is more focused on pressure. The one horsepower high capacity models are capable of producing up to about 24 gallons per minute at five foot of suction head, but are limited to producing a shutoff pressure of only about 64 PSI. At 25 foot of suction, the maximum flow is about 12 gallons per minute. These are ideal for applications that have a plentiful water source and a relatively low total dynamic head requirement, preferably under about 35 foot of lift for the application. Now the one horsepower high pressure models are able to produce up to 80 PSI, but are limited to a maximum flow rate of about 13 gallons a minute at five foot of suction lift. At 25 foot of suction lift, they will produce about six gallons per minute at a max. These are typically used for applications where the total dynamic head is greater than the high capacity model can achieve. The additional 16 PSI actually equates to over 37 feet of head. The adjustable pressure switch has been factory preset to 2040 PSI for the one horsepower model. Now what that means is that the pump is going to shut off at 40 PSI and turn on once the pressure falls below 20 PSI. For the larger horsepower models, including the three quarter and one horsepower, you're gonna have a factory set switch at 30, 50 PSI due to the higher shutoff pressure. 
These pressure switches are adjustable, and if you would like some instruction on how to do so, check the description below for a link. The motors on all of these pumps are a single phase, open drip proof type motor, which is commonly referred to as an ODP motor, and they operate at a constant 3500 RPM. They come standard in a dual voltage configuration, which means that it can easily be switched from 115 to 230 volt by a simple switch on the back of the pump. The motor on this pump comes with ball bearings and a standard 5 8 ceramic carbon rotating mechanical seal. Many of the components on these pumps can be replaced, which allows you to get the most from your investment. As with every AY McDonald jet pump, these are assembled in the United States and are 100% factory tested prior to leaving. This hardworking pump will last for many years if sized correctly. If you need help sizing a pump, check out the other videos on our channel or get in contact with our customer service team. To learn more about this particular pump or review the specifications or installation guide, be sure to check out our website, rcworst.com. If you have any questions on what we covered today, leave those in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more great content. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.